Everett Simpson, a 42-year-old St. Johnsbury man, appeared in federal court Monday, asking the judge to allow his legal team to uncover additional evidence from his alleged victim's cell phone. Earlier this year, police say Everett Simpson escaped a Vermont substance abuse rehab center and stole a car using it to kidnap a woman and her five-year-old son outside the Mall of New Hampshire in Manchester. He took the woman and her child across state lines to White River Junction, where he allegedly raped her in a hotel in front of her five-year-old son. Simpson then led police on a chase, finally arrested in Pennsylvania, and extradited back to Vermont. Police allege the kidnapping was at random. On Monday, Simpson appeared in federal court, his legal team asking to recover additional files from his alleged victim's cell phone, saying that crucial files may have been deleted off the phone. They claim the files include evidence that the two communicated on a dating app or website. His alleged victim claiming the encounter was not consensual after she found out Simpson stole a car. U.S. District Court Judge William K. Sessions III ruled a more comprehensive search of the victim's phone can be undertaken under FBI supervision. During today's hearing, Judge Sessions also determined that the case will be heard in March and is expected to last around 10 days. Now, Everett Simpson remains in the custody of the U.S. Marshal Service in federal custody. Live in Burlington, Nathaniel Reed, NBC5 News.